Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we talked about uh, get and set method. Yeah, that is how we can interact with uh, class variables without directly accessing them. Yeah, so uh, that is called encapsulation in OOP paradigm. Yeah, so if you haven't watched that video yet, it's the right time to do. Yeah, so the link should appear on the top right corner. And today we'll talk uh, about a special method which uh, has each class its constructor. Yeah, so this method is used for creating an object out of a class, right? And each class by default has one constructor, one empty constructor. And uh, let's have a look uh, on the code we used uh, last time on the line number five here. Then we by recreate a new object, rectangle one, out of the class rectangle. And this method, rectangle, is exactly a constructor. Yeah, that's a default constructor which has any class in Java yeah, and basically it uh, does nothing. Yeah? We just create an object out of a class, but we don't do any other actions. Yeah? So, for example, in our case, in class rectangle, we have two uh, class variables, yeah? side one and side two. Yeah? But... Uh, Using default constructor, we just create a rectangle, but we don't, for example, assign any values to side one and side two, which would be logical, I would say. Yeah, so in the, today we'll talk about how we can uh, create or define our own constructors. So uh, by creating an object, we do some other actions, uh, like assigning some values to side one and side two. Okay, so uh, how we define how we define a constructor? Uh, so constructor, uh, the constructor method should have the same name as a class. Uh, so, for example, in our ca case, class name is rectangle. It means that uh, that um, constructor. Uh, name or method name should be rectangle angle as well. Okay, so that's we have just defined a constructor, and that's basically how this uh, default uh, constructor looks like. Yeah? So it's just an empty method which doesn't do anything, yeah? and as any method. Uh, like we did for uh, set, for example, yeah, we can also provide some input uh, data or input variables, and based on them, we can do something in our constructor while we are creating an object uh, for a particular class. Yeah? So, for example, let's uh, let's specify that our constructor uh, rectangle will take two. Two parameters with type float, float side one and float side two, and then we can assign that values to our rectangle side one and side two. So that is by creating a rectangle, we also at the same time assign values. So it will have length and width. Right, uh, and as it was discussed last time, we also should uh, should use this uh, this keyword. So um, Java is not confused uh, to which side one or side two uh, we are referring to, yeah? like we did here. Yeah? So by using once again using this. Um, word with, yeah, we specify that side one is uh, class variable side one, so it's not this side one. Yeah? So this side one, it means a side one of class. Okay, 
let's save and as you see right now we have a problem so now it's underlined and says that uh, there is no such constructor defined and that's uh, quite interesting so this empty constructor exists by default for any class but until we define our own constructor so once we do that like we did here yeah, this empty default constructor doesn't exist anymore so uh, we need to define it by ourselves manually if we want still to use it Correct angle okay yeah and now it's perfectly fine yeah, and also worth to mention that any class uh, can has as many constructors as you would like so there are no restrictions on that yeah, so for now our class rectangle has two constructors defined so the first one is default yeah, which actually doesn't do anything so it just creates a new object but it doesn't manipulate for example anyhow uh, class variables or object variables yeah, and we have also another uh, constructor defined by ourselves which takes two input parameters of type float side one and side two and at the time of creating a new object rectangle out of this class we assign these input parameters to uh, class variables side one and side two uh, let's see how it works right let's create a new rectangle so that one uh, we created last time Okay, yeah, so we created an empty rectangle, then using this set method, we set the values of our class variables, and then we check it. Yeah, so side one, side two, two and three. Yeah. Now let's, let's uh, use our constructor uh, we defined and provide that values directly, two and three and let's check that by executing get methods and let's see okay yeah so the first one two and three are related to this one yeah then we used a default constructor then using set method we set the values of length and width and then check that yeah worked perfectly fine two and three and then here of rectangle 2 we used our new constructor we defined here yeah, with two input um, values side 1 and side 2 and using this constructor we actually already set the values for length and width respectively 2 and 3 at the time of creating this object so when we execute this get we already have this two and three yeah and it's quite convenient right uh, of course we can define any other um, constructor as we wish right so for example we can define a constructor rectangle which will take only one float type variable uh, only one float type variable as an input yeah? so for example uh, we set only length at the beginning right so we have another uh, constructor available so we can set only length oh, sorry rectangle three yeah. and let's now print it out what we have length, length three okay yeah so as you see yeah so for the first side or side one using this constructor we define two and 
we didn't specify any value for side two or read so that's by default is zero yeah so the default value for float type is zero so it's zero yeah and as it was said we can define as many constructors as we would like for any class yeah? okay and there is also well, let's delete this constructor for the time being uh, also a way how we can uh, generate a number of constructors automatically using Eclipse so if we press uh, mouse right button in our class select source and here generate constructor using fields yeah, and here we can uh, just specify which fields or variables should be uh, should be used as input uh, okay and that is it has been generated you see and still it works fine yeah so you can use this eclipse uh, feature so if you don't need to define it manually especially if your class has uh, a lot of um, class variables uh, which could be used uh, for creating a new object right um, okay so that's basically would be all for today related to class constructors hopefully you like that video it was useful for you still still if you have some questions something is not clear or you have some input to share so just uh, drop a comment under that video also don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done that yet so you don't miss anything don't forget to visit my website blog.dataguru.guide where i post some uh, interesting materials related to java to big data so you are up to date and next time uh, we'll start or continue talking about um, another uh, feature called method overloading yeah basically today when we discussed constructors we already started talking about that but uh, in more details that will be discussed next time yeah? uh, for today that's all thanks all for watching and see you next time bye bye